All right, y'all. Good morning. The day of surgery. Five o'clock in the morning. Get ready to go up here to the surgery center. Get checked in. Keep you posted. Okay. Beautiful tree in the lobby over here. Look at that. That's beautiful. Okay. So today is my day, the 19th of December, 2022. First case. All right, y'all. No fear, because God has not given us a spirit of fear, but a power, love, and a sound mind. So I'm walking through this with the victory, and everything's going to work out. Because all things work together for my good, because I'm called according to the Lord. And I love the Lord, and He loves me. Romans 8 and 28. All right, here we are. Morning of surgery. I'm ready. You ready? Yeah, get it over with. All right, good morning, y'all. Good morning. Okay. Okay, I'm ready. Checking in to surgery. Oh, we're waiting, waiting. Got a few hours to go. One. Oops. Don't have my tripod. Two. Oh, look at those hands. They're looking tired today. Okay. So, my journey continues. And, uh... Let's see, we're supposed to be in earlier, but now we're waiting, so we're just waiting. There's my guest. All right. Good morning. <clears throat> this is the day after surgery. My first day. Uh, okay, well. <clears throat> my journey. I haven't talked to the doctor today. Yesterday was, it's always like a little roller coaster because my surgery was for first thing in the morning. We had to be here like 5.30. When we got here and they were hooking me up to everything, IV and all that. And they said, oh, we apologize. The surgery was pushed to noon. Okay. What can I do? I'm not leaving. So then, after the spell, he came back and said, we've been able to get your surgery at 10.30. Your doctor will be here. And then my doctor pops in. My surgeon. And we talk. And I'm telling you, everybody has just been such a blessing, so nice, so accommodating. I don't have any any complaints. You know, that's why when this journey first started, I had to kind of just shut myself away from people. And I mentioned that before, being delivered from people. Because everybody has a story that, I don't want to say sad, but it's um, not in their favor. Where they had some experiences of whatever discomfort in some area, the way they were treated or something. But this whole journey has been like, God has worked in my favor. And everyone that I come in contact with is positive. Um, up to yesterday, checking in, you know, the lady, <laughs> when we checked in at 5.30, she wasn't there. I was just like, well, we got here early. But at 5.30, she wasn't there. And so I asked the security guard, where's the person? It's like she's on her way. And when she came, she was just this, her personality was very brute. And I can understand. First thing in the morning, we were the only ones there, me and my husband. 
And then it started trickling in. You know, everybody brings someone with them. So two at a time, two at a time, two at a time, till it's like 15 people in that room. And I was like, no wonder she's like that, you know. But she wasn't mean. She's just like, okay, do this, do that, do that, do that, do that. I was like, okay, lady, you're talking a little too fast and too short. But I didn't say that to her. I just like, as I sat there, I realized it's Monday. And you know what? You know how your Mondays are? And so anyway, we got through that. And here I am today. Wow. I'm not going to say I'm feeling good. (laughs) I'm blessed to be here. Amen. I'm blessed to be here. So I can just say my surgery was a success. I'll speak with a physician today to get more details. Um, And we'll go from there. All right, y'all. This is Price mixing it up. Say whoop, whoop. And guess what? You remember to have it a, make it a great day. I'm going to remember to make it a great day. You know what I tell my grandkids? Be good to yourself. Be nice. Make friends. And share. And that's what I'm doing. All right, y'all. I'm about to go back to sleep. It's early. But I woke up. And I'm just thanking the Lord for waking me up. Thank you, Lord. He's good. God is good. Hello, everybody out there. <clears throat> this is Price mixing it up. Resting and relaxing in my hospital room, which <clears throat> surgery, this is two days after surgery. I'm feeling well. I'm doing good. Progressing in recovery. Um, as expected, it's going to be a long recovery for me. Um, but overall, you know what? Excuse me. On the camera, I'm just trying to get myself set up. Should have did this first, huh? Anyway. Uh, (coughs) major surgery is major. I just want to say that. Whoever you are out there, if you're about to go through something difficult and it's major, yeah, pray and ask God to help you through it. I'm telling you, um, this health journey has been different from others, and I've had many um, surgeries, major. Um, this one didn't take me by surprise. I was prepared Um, over the months, last couple of months. I was prepared because I believe in God, okay? I'm going to just start with that. I believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. I believe in the Holy Trinity and the Holy Spirit. And um, my belief and my faith is what keeps me. So I'm just going to start it off like that. This is another video of my health journey. Um, Those of you who are following, thank you. Um, So um, I want to encourage you. Get your colonoscopy. I think that's what it's called. (laughs) Don't even sound right anymore. I say this so many times. If you're 40, hey, if you have a history of cancer in your family, get your test. Get your... Uh, cancer marker test, blood tests, okay? Men, get your PSA. I'm not ashamed to say it. I'm married. I have a son. I have brothers, okay? Um, Get those tests, that prostate cancer test, right? Um, Whatever it takes. Get your mammogram, ladies, all right? Don't wait. If you have a history of cancer in your family, you get your mammogram when you as soon as possible. Don't wait until you're 40 and 50 like they tell you. Society dictates a lot to you about your health, but you are an advocate for your own health. Take control of your health. Do what you need to do early. Early detection is the best. So in my case, early detection. 
I'm in touch with myself. Yes, I'm not 100% total healthy. And yes, I am a woman of faith. And people will probably say, girl, don't say that. Speak this. Speak. I'm speaking the truth. I'm being real, right? Because I do take care of everything I'm supposed to when I'm supposed to. And even when I have the smallest headache, I'm at the doctor. I'm calling the doctor. I'm, I'm there, right? Video, chat, whatever it is. I'm making an appointment. And guess what? I let them know I am not seeking drugs. Okay? So my approach to health is holistic. And that's the way I choose. But at the same time, I'm not going to ignore signs. Okay? If you have a sign of something in your body, and I am not a doctor, I am not a medical um, professional. I'm a medical social worker at one point. I am a social worker with a degree, but I'm not one to advise you about your health. I'm sharing my health journey. And if your health journey is similar, hey, right? We got something in common. Um, so <clears throat> the last couple of months, I had my colonoscopy. Oh, not a couple of months. It's been a few months ago, which um, had a really good gastroenterology physician. That's who does the colonoscopy. It's a GI doctor. And um, they saw something different in my colonoscopy. And a colonoscopy is checking your colon, right? And so from there, it went to, let's get these labs done, blood tests. From there, it was, let's get an x-ray, OK? From there was, let's do the CT scan, ultrasound. And then from there was MRI with a contrast. Very thorough, OK? So I do know what should be done. And when I'm um, involved in a health journey, I Google. I look stuff up on the internet. Yes, I do. And I read about it, and I research it, so I'm knowledgeable as well as what my um, medical professional is instructing me on and informing me. Okay. So I had all that done, and it showed something in my colon. And I was like, oh, okay. So you know what? I've been doing um, other holistic measures for other problems that I have. And my question at this point, and I will see as I recover, was a lot of the other conditions I was experiencing related to this condition. That's my question. Let's see. In the name of Jesus, it's all going away. So I'm healed, delivered, set free, and cured. I claim the victory. Hezekiah, I got to look up my scripture because my brain is a little foggy, but either 35 or 38, Hezekiah uh, was sick to death. He prayed to the Lord, and the Lord healed and cured him. So that's my scripture, and that's the report I believe. What God did for Hezekiah, he can do for me. What he did before, he can do it again. And he's helped me before in my life. This is not my first health journey. He's helped me before. He's cured me and delivered me from sickness and affliction and disease. And I know it's going to happen again. So I speak that into existence in Jesus' name. Um, <clears throat> so now it's recovery time. And I feel good today. Uh, with the surgery was very challenging. And my day one, day two was very rough. But I'm telling you, mm, God sent some people in the medical profession by the way of nurses and technology and technicians and custodians and janitors and nutritionists and 
respiratory therapists, and what else? Everybody, x-ray technicians. Uh, I just can't even name all the people that I've come in contact with since I've been here. Blessings, blessings. Some of them even speak life to you. Everybody has some word of encouragement on how to recover, right, from what you're going through. It's like, wow. Thank you, Lord. This is where I'm supposed to be right now. Would I say, oh, I want to be here right now, Lord? Of course you wouldn't. This is where the Lord has me. I'm content. I know I'm not going to stay stuck right here. I'm moving forward in Jesus' name. So I just wanted to do a little update. I uh, don't know what day I'm being released. I'm not going to worry about that because right now it's all about healing and getting well. And I thank everybody for your prayers, your positive words. I thank you for tuning in to this channel, Price Mixing It Up. What do we do? Whoop, whoop. So give me a whoop, whoop if you're out there. Whoop, whoop. Put in the comments, whoop, whoop, to your health journey. Put something in there. Let me see you, okay? Thank you for subscribing to my channel. I'm so appreciative. And I'll keep you posted. So for now, surgery has taken place. My family's well. I'm well. All is well. It is well. It is well with my soul. That's, that's just all I can give you right now. <laughs> okay, y'all. I love you. Jesus loves you. You can't do a thing about it. The Lord has allowed me to be praying while I'm here. And I'm going to keep praying with people and sharing the Lord. So let's say, Lord Jesus... Forgive me of my sins. Wash me in your blood. I believe that you died on the cross for my sins and that you were, hey, you died on the cross, you were buried, and you rose on the third day. Right now, Lord Jesus, I receive you into my heart as my Lord and my Savior. Thank you. Amen. Just say that prayer over and over. If you can't say that prayer, just say, Lord, help. All right? That's all you can say. Say it. All right? God have not given you the spirit of fear, but a power, love, and a sound mind. And I want you to know in Psalm 139, it says, it might be 14, verse 14, For I am fearfully and wonderfully made, marvelous are thy works. All right. I'll see you guys soon. Guess what you're going to do? What? Remember to make it a great day. Thank you for viewing. Please like, share, subscribe, and comment.